It is Cement Delivery Day, folks, here at the Old Church, Five Acre Olmstead. Join us, please, in Journal Entry 7 in the Diary of a Barn. Good day, folks. Good day, beautiful people. Mr. Gary here from GBL, the Old Church, Five Acre Olmstead, getting ready to bring to you Journal Entry 7 in the Diary of a Barn. I got a couple of chores to do here now, the final chores before this foundation is ready. Today is Cement Delivery Day, folks. It's gonna be a bit exciting here for a couple of hours this afternoon when the delivery truck comes and brings our cement. We're gonna be busy. We're gonna be busy indeed filling up this ICF, this insulated styrofoam uh, for our foundation. Um, I'm gonna show you the couple of chores that I had to do uh, final chores before the cement uh, can be poured in these forms. Let's take a look together. I do have a few chores that I have to complete, folks, before the cement can be put into these uh, these styrofoam blocks, into this ICF. Um, I'm putting on some zip ties, as you can see right there. I'm making sure that the vertical rebar and the horizontal rebar are tied together. I'm also making sure, as well, that the rebar is tied into the ICF plastic brackets. You probably can see, you probably can see a zip tie right there if you look carefully. So that's what I'm going, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going around making sure that I got it all zipped and I'm adding in a few extras as well. Uh, I've got to position, I got to position my uh, anchor bolts. You can see one right there. I went around earlier and marked off where I'm putting them. And so X marks the spot where uh, anchor bolt has to go. So I'm going to be going around and laying an anchor bolt right down next where it needs to go. And there's quite a few. In fact, I'm putting 34 anchor bolts in this barn. And I'm then going to go around. The very final thing I got to do is wherever there's a join, wherever there's a join in the one by four, and you can see them there, I'm putting in a couple of braces going across. Okay, just like that right there. So there's a join, there's a join right there where my finger is. So I'm putting a brace right there. And there's another join right here over on this side. So I'm putting another one right there. So I'm gonna go around. And as you can see, I've got them laid out where I need them. And then we're ready. We are all ready for cement delivery today. There we are. So let me do those couple of chores. And when I get it all done, I'll come back and have an old chat with you. And there's the delivery truck, folks. Uh, we're going to be very, very busy over the next couple of hours. Too busy to do any video recording. So I'll come back toward the end and show you the finished product. See you soon. So the ICF, the, uh, the insulated concrete forms, are all full of, uh, of concrete, folks. All filled up, all leveled off. All of the uh, anchor bolts have been installed as well. I'm taking you down now the length of the right hand side. Okay, as you see, I put on those stays afterward, those braces across the forms that I was mentioning earlier. I did that and it's all filled in, all leveled off. I don't think it's too bad of a job. Not bad at all. I did have some help. I, ha I did have a local gentleman from here help me out today. So that was actually really, really good. Uh, between him and I and the, the operator of the truck, we managed to get all this work done at a decent time, about two hours ago, I guess. And then I've been fooling around here now, to leveling it off and making sure it's fairly smooth and all that kind of good stuff. So not too bad at all. All the rebars, as I said, are all inside and, and they're all secure. And all of the anchor bolts, again, they're all placed at, 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 uh, at appropriate depths and, and, and lengths apart from each other. So there you go. All done. 34 anchor bolts, actually. So quite, quite a few anchor bolts in this foundation. Down along there as well, starting to dry out now. And we also did these today as well. We're going to be having some six by six posts going up to the top level. And so I had to make these and install these and make sure they're all good. 
So we have six of those. So there's going to be six strong posts keeping up the second floor of this barn. Getting ready to go home now, folks. Like I said, it's been a very, very long day. I am very, very tired. Need to get home and get a shower. My clothes is filthy, 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 full of cement and concrete. But I'm glad, I'm very, very glad that this part of the building is now complete because what it means now is that we can actually get at, we can actually get at putting up the walls. And when you put the walls up, that's gonna be a big difference. You're gonna see a lot of improvement as the walls go up. Like I said, I think it's a, it's a decent job, a decent job indeed. We'll get our walls up next and, uh, and I'll show you all of that good stuff. Thank you for watching this one. This one's probably gonna be a little bit short, but it is journal entry seven, folks, in the Diary of a Burn. Mr. Gary here saying thank you always. Thank you ever so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Appreciate that so very, very much. Um, oh, of course, uh, make lots of comments and like our videos. And of course, if you haven't done so, folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that's GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Mr. Gary is going to go home now in the old Silverado. Talk to you later, folks. You have a great, great evening and enjoy the rest of the week. It's a beautiful evening here as well. The sun is setting over Gander Bay, over Notre Dame Bay. Ice block is all complete. Until next time, Mr. Cement Delivery Guy, because Mr. Gary is very, very sure I'm going to need you for a future project here at the Old Church, Five Acre Olmstead. See you later, folks.